John McAfee is going to give me a few little brief uh, explanations of the type of work that was carried out on these headstones. So John, the first one we see is a harp and I think it was actually carved in your own workshop. Yes, Eddie, this is carved by ourselves. It's a one slab of granite that was shaped into the harp shape and it's for a local stone cutter as well. So we started off with a relief carving down the sides to give the sort of like the, the back of the harp shape and then it's left natural here. So it's just a perfect example of how Ballynock and Granite can be used in the monumental as well as the walling trade because the grain is so tight the lettering is able to stand out nice and clear on it. So it's just yeah, uh, yeah it's, uh, and the important thing about it is this is local stone crafted by local craftsmen and much better quality than the stone that we see being imported from China and such places. Well now, John, here we are at another fine example of the type of work that was carried out by the craftsmen in Ballynockan. It's a Celtic cross. There's a lot of design work on it. Can you explain some of the features of the stone, please? What they did here, it's just Celtic knots on this particular piece, Eddie, and they put in on what they call is this part, is the shaft of the Celtic cross. It was very common practice to put uh, relief carvings in all the way up to the head and then as you can see what they normally did was they copied the same image on those sections there of the cross and then the center section was always left pretty much to the grave owner what they felt they would want in the center and in this case it's a circular stone representing in this case God Okay. Yeah, that's that's okay. pretty standard for a cross like this. Yeah as far as I know this is a very ancient type of designed to have on a cross it goes back to prehistory nearly yeah but all of this would date back even the celtic knots they all date back but as time went on you know with the, the development of the christian church in ireland images like these were kind of taken alongside christianity as well taken off the pagans in yeah. some way and adopted by the christians so yeah. that's it all stems back to the beginning of time really once they started carving that's where they come up with these you know? Well, it's, it's all very interesting and brilliant work and it finds fine examples of the work that has been carried out for centuries here in Ballynockin. Yeah. So, John, thank you for giving us the time here and explaining what's still going on and how your family is still involved in the business. And I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.